Hello, welcome to today's session. In today's session, I'm going to talk about uh, JPA one-to-one -one mapping. In uh, my previous session, I talked about how to perform CURD operation using JPA. So JPA is Java Persistent API. It's a tool which is used to connect your entity with your database. So if you want to do uh, some operations on your database, uh, you have to create an entity and you can manipulate your entity. All the manipulations that you do on your entity will be automatically converted to calls to your database. So uh, this JPA will help you to uh, create this mapping between the entity and the database. Now, what we are going to discuss in today's session, we are just going to see if there are two entities and the relationship between the two entity is one to one relationship, how um, uh, it will be created in the database. That is what we are going to see. So we are going to create two entities and we are going to manipulate these two entities, how these manipulations are going to be converted into tables and database. Okay, that's what we are going to see in today's session okay uh, there are different types of mappings like you have one to one one to many many to one many to many uh, in this section uh, we will just see about one to one uh, so let's uh, just see an example program now uh, in this example program I'm going to create uh, two entities I'm going to create a student entity and I'm going to create an address entity Okay, so now on the student entity, I'm going to store the primary key of address as a foreign key in the student entity. So here you can see uh, this is a foreign key which is referring to the primary key of the address entity. Okay, so if the mapping is one to one mapping, then it's your choice to store the foreign key in any one side. So either you can store the address ID on the student side or you can store the student ID in the address side so it's your choice you can store anywhere okay and here the relationship you see it's only one to one okay relationship so now when I create these two entities now I can uh, uh, do manipulations on these entities now you can see how this is uh, uh, getting converted into database calls and you can see how two tables are created with student table and the address table with primary key and foreign key okay so this is what we are going to see in the uh, demo session okay so let's directly go into the demo okay first let me create a database so I'll go to services click database in Derby database let me create a new database so let me create a database called as um, jp a one to one okay and the username is app and password app confirm password app so i just created a new database You can see the link for the database appears here yes right click connect once you connect you can see there is no tables okay now let's go to the project open a new java application new project so i will open a java application here we are not going to create any web application okay so i'll create a java application let me give the name as one to one Okay, now I'm going to create two entities inside this project. So let me create new, I have to create an entity class. If you don't find the entity class here, click on other. Here in persistence, you will find the entity class. Okay, click next. Here you have to give the name for the entity. So I'm going to create the student entity. First, you have to give a package. So I will give the package name as entities okay click next so the class name is student entity okay next and here you have to select which database you have to connect with so you have to connect with select the database okay here you can change the name of your persistent unit so let me give the name as Hema okay so table generation strategy should be create now click on finish okay so you can see the entity is created student entity similarly i will create another entity new 
I'll create another entity. The entity is address. Okay, package should be same package, entities package. Okay, click on finish. Uh, sorry, I think I gave the name wrong. Okay, so let me uh, drag uh, the student entity to this entities. So here you can see uh, both the entities are inside the same package. Now this package is not required. I'll just delete. So now you created the two entities, student and uh, address. So now let's go to the address and create all the attributes that is required. Okay, so here you can see the default attribute is ID, which is your primary key. So you can see uh, it's a primary key. So it has the annotation at ID and how the primary key values are generated uh, you use the auto strategy okay now you can declare the other attributes of address so let me declare private street number private int street number then private string city private string country private in zip code okay so these are the attributes i need in the address now right click insert code insert the getter and setter for the address so we finish with the address entity now we go to the student entity now in student entity now in student entity you see the relationship is one to one so the address that is the id the primary key of the address entity you have to store as a foreign key in the student entity okay so you have to take the primary key of address entity and store as a foreign key in the uh, student entity so now let's uh, create the student entity so let's go to the student entity so already you have the id just we have to add the name and the address as a foreign key okay so let me declare private string name then private i have to store the address so let me declare the object for the address entity a1 okay so how this mapping this mapping is one to one so i will write o is capital one two one okay now i have to click and add the import for one to one now we declared all the attributes now we have to insert the getter and setter method right click insert code getter and setter method yeah added right yes now save it now we have to write the main program so right click new i create a java class called as main and i have to give the package where i want to create the uh, main class so let me call this as a binding class okay so now here i have to write my main method now inside the main method the first step that i have to do is i need to get the handle for entity uh, manager factory and the entity manager so you all know entity manager is a heart of jpa okay so entity manager factory emf i have to declare both then i have to declare entity manager em okay so i have to click and add the imports entity manager factory so click and add the import for factory click and add the entity manager okay now to obtain this emf to obtain the emf i have to use persistence dot there is a method called as create entity manager factory here you have to give your persistent unit name remember when we created the first entity it asked for the persistent unit name we gave the unit name as hema okay now I have to get the handle for em, em is emf dot, I have to call the method create entity manager, 
okay so now the entity manager is created now what I have to do is I have to uh, uh, begin the transaction okay so I will call the method get transaction dot begin now I will create an address entity a1 equal to new address okay now there is an error because you have to import this address entity from this package so click here and you have to import so here I think address is some predefined class name in Java so it's showing that class so let me write the import by myself import entities dot address okay now I will declare student entity okay new student I have to click and add the import for student okay so let me add by myself now let me assign the value for address so a1 dot I have set methods to assign the values ID for address let me give ID as one as I given auto generated you need not assign any value for ID it will be automatically assigned so apart from ID I will give the value for the other fields like street number I will give street number as 100 a1 dot uh, set um, city is every okay sorry here it is set not get okay double quotes then a1 dot I call set country Oman okay A1 dot set zip code 516 okay now I'll assign value for student S1 dot set name let me give any name then S1 dot set address what will be address address is nothing but the object you have created before so this is the binding so once this is done you have to uh, call the method persist to store the object permanently in the database so you have to call persist for a1 then you have to call persist for uh, s1 so once persist is done now you have to commit your transaction so call get transaction dot commit now you can close your connection emf dot close okay that's it just save it now run this program so this is our main class select the main class and run one more thing uh, we did not uh, give that is our driver so here you can see you will get an error because we did not attach the driver class so we have to go to so you have to go to google and type uh, derby client 10.10.1.1 marvin so here you will get the dependency just click the marvin repository here we'll get the dependency just to have to copy this dependency and paste it in your form.xml file okay so this is how you have to copy the dependency 
okay i'll copy the dependency i'll go here i'll go to the project files in pom.xml file let me copy the dependency i'll save this so when you save automatically the jar file the driver file will be uh, downloaded okay now i can run it again So here you can see your uh, project runs successfully. Now you can go to your database and see whether those tables are created. Now I, I refresh my database. Here you can see the tables are created. Can you see the tables are created? Address table and student table. This is for generating the uh, IDs. Okay. Uh, you, gener you told your uh, IDs are... Uh, generated automatically okay so that is the sequence table so here you can see the address table let me right click and show you the data of address table see this is the data we entered into the address table and let me right click and show you the uh, student table view data see this is your student table so here you can see the primary key of the address uh, uh, table is stored in the student table can you see yes so this is how you have to uh, do one-to-one -one, uh, connectivity okay so in one-to-one -one, uh, in one-to-one -one, uh, relationship the primary key of one table will be stored in the another table so you can choose any of the table either you can take the left table primary key and store it on the right side or you can take the right table primary key and store it in the left side because the relationship is one-to-one -one, so it's your choice and how many uh, tables will be uh, created if you create a one-to-one -one relationship two tables will be created okay so you gave two entities so two entities are created this is for generating your primary key okay so this is for generating your primary key so a sequence is created and it will be incremented every time when you enter a new um, row into a table you see the uh, sequence will be incremented okay the first row we inserted was uh, in the address table so that has a row id one first row second we inserted one row in the uh, student table see uh, it is incremented and you have the auto generated number as two so the this is uh, for the uh, sequence table okay so hope you understood uh, this program uh, thank you for listening